Hi guys and welcome to TechBase. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the Canary channel, which is the build 27913. In this build, we have a few improvements, a few changes, and also a lot of fixes. So we're going to go over everything in this video. And if you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. This video is sponsored by W Master ZipKing. ZipKing is an AI powered compression tool for file compressors, file extractors, image compressors, video compressors, PDF compressors, and more. Once the software is opened, make sure to select the compression mode that you want, select the file, and then the compression level. You can customize this in the smallest detail. Once compressed with this tool, your files will have a lower size, helping you transfer them wherever you need. With W Master Zip King, you can also preview the contents of a zip file right inside Windows without extracting, safer and more convenient. In my opinion, this is the perfect alternative for the default extracting and compressing tool from Windows 11. Check out ZipKing from the description below today. Let's continue with the video. First of all, Microsoft is announcing that this update includes a small set of general improvements and fixes that will improve the overall experience for insiders running this build on their PCs. For people that are new to this channel or new to the Canary channel, of course, pay attention. The Canary channel is the most unstable channel. It currently has a lot of bugs, a lot of issues, so make sure to not use it on your main computer, use it on a virtual machine or on a secondary computer computer that you use for testing. The main improvements and changes in this build are related to the settings app because as you may notice we have the new search box at the top and we can expand it by clicking on this icon or if we have a large enough settings window the search box will be shown fully. Basically this is a part of a new feature that Microsoft is also rolling out for Copilot Plus PCs, the new AI computers from Microsoft that will include a new AI agent. But for normal users as myself you'll notice that there is no functionality change only the location of the search box has been moved to the top. Also, according to Phantom of Earth on Twitter or X.com, a few other small changes were applied to the settings app, but those are new. They are present in other Windows 11 Insider preview builds. Talking about fixes in this build, Microsoft is fixing an issue where the Windows Vista boot sound was unexpectedly being used instead of the Windows 11 boot sound, which was actually pretty funny. Related to the desktop background, Microsoft did some underlying work to help address issues which could result in the desktop background unexpectedly becoming black rather than then displaying the expected wallpaper image. This happened to me, so I'm pretty glad that this was fixed. Also related to settings, Microsoft fixed an issue in the latest builds, which could cause settings to crash when interacting with the options under settings, system, and then power and battery, of course, on laptops. And they also fixed an underlying issue where some of the apostrophes across text and settings and settings related dialogues were not displaying correctly and were showing random characters. So as an example, this was happening inside display settings. And if you were to go into the display resolution, resolution. As you can see, this is now fixed. We also have an audio related fix. They fix an issue which could result in audio not working a few seconds after casting to ATV and some other fixes. They fix an issue in the latest builds causing a small number of insiders to experience repeated bug checks with kernel security check failure after upgrading. This may occur when connecting to VPN. They also fix an underlying issue which could result in acrylic in certain apps unexpectedly being transparent. And they also made another fix for the issue causing group policy error to not display correct directly in certain languages like Chinese showing large blank areas. Related to known issues, we have one new known issue. The progress wheel may show as a rectangle glyph instead of rendering correctly when upgrading to this build, but hopefully this will be fixed in future builds. This is pretty much all there is to it to the Canary channel. So of course, for more information, you can check out the article below or the official Microsoft blog post if you're interested. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.